So, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. First of all, explain exactly what your app does. Sure, David, and thanks for having me. So, uh, even before COVID, what we had built was a program that interviews you like a doctor. It helps you figure out clinically what's most likely going on. And then if we understand what your insurance information is, we can help you get to the right care at the right time in network for you. Uh, we've been around since 2013. Um, and then what we saw when coronavirus became you know, a really big issue in China, uh, we said this is definitely going to come to the United States. So we took the CDC guidelines, incorporated them into Bowie such that we would use the guidelines if you had symptoms for coronavirus to help you understand what to do next. So you wouldn't go to the doctor if you didn't need to. You wouldn't call in if you didn't need to. You'd self-isolate if appropriate. And we launched that in early February. And we actually ended up seeing the spread of the disease as it actually came across the United States. And then we got a lot of interest from large organizations like large insurance companies, uh, multiple states, uh, as you mentioned, Virginia, uh, but it actually first started in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, where uh, the government saw an opportunity to say, okay, well, when you're sick, before you call in and before you go in, understand what to do next. And we actually launched with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in early March. We ha we've had well over 100,000 people in the state use Bowie. And over 50% of the time, people didn't need to call a doctor and they could uh, self-isolate or go get testing. And over 90% of the time, they didn't need to go into in-person care. And so if you started to add up all of those visits, we actually saved 1,700 hours of physician's time or about 71 days worth of physician's time. And during a pandemic, a physician's time is extremely valuable. And so what we saw was we're able to unclog the pipes uh, for the people who did need to call in and for the people who did need to go see a doctor in person. And now we're bringing that to the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, where we launched last Friday. Extremely excited for that opportunity to, again, do that load balance and get the right people to the right care at the right time during this essential period. And even thinking about, you know, how we can assist as uh, whole states and whole employers start to reopen and uh, live in this COVID positive world, uh, which is, you know, a, a big challenge. So saving healthcare resources, goodness knows, is really precious right now. At the same time, how do you monitor the efficaciousness of what you're doing? That is to say, how do you make sure that you're sending the right people to the doctor and not sending the wrong people to the doctor? Now that, that's uh, a, such an important question and something that we wrestled with in our day jobs, you know, even before the pandemic. The way that we're, we're really doing this now is, first, we're um, adhering to the CDC guidelines on what people should do next. So given that coronavirus is a new disease um, and the science behind it is changing on a, a weekly, if not daily basis, we actually have a clinical team in-house that's dedicated to making sure that we're consistently consistent <laughs> with those CDC guidelines uh, in helping people understand what to do next. And actually going a step further from that, um, we actually follow up with patients. So people can opt in to receiving text messages from Bowie after they initially use the product. And by following up them and seeing what they ended up doing, um, how they're doing in quarantine, what the outcome was, we can come in and actually give information back to our internal teams, but even to our partners to say, okay, you know, actually um, this is what ends up happening for these sets of people with these symptoms, with these issues. Um, and really providing that that feedback loop, uh, to your point, David. Uh, health is everything, obviously, but also we need to get paid. How do you get paid? Are the states paying you? Uh, is there advertiser support? Where's the revenue coming from? So, you know, we've uh, never really wanted, to, we've always thought, you know, uh, the ad play really hurts the trust that we're building with the end user here, the patient who's sick, who's scared. Um, the companies that pay us um, are either large self-insured employers who are looking to reopen and are paying for Bowie for their employees, insurance companies who are paying for Bowie uh, for their um, members or for this, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, both governments have paid for a version of Bowie that's specific for that particular state that can help the resident understand 
where to go within the state's set of resources, both from a hospital perspective, from an insurance and telemedicine perspective, as well as from a testing perspective. Yeah, if I finally, briefly, if you could, Dr. Lay, you mentioned large employers who are looking to bring their employees back safely. Talk to us about this other uh, related pro product, as I understand, you call called Back With Care. It's a platform. What does that do? Sure, David. Um, so, as you know, we really responded to COVID very early on. And based on our audit of the space, we actually were the first digital health company to respond to coronavirus um, in the United States. Because we moved there so early, uh, we really had the brain space to think about, you know, what's going to happen next. And what's going to happen next is facing the challenge of how do you reopen in this COVID-positive world before a vaccine is out. And so we've developed a product that really is a, a further advancement of our coronavirus product that can help an employer help their employees bring come back safely. So the employee would use Bowie on a daily basis to talk about their symptoms, if they have any, talk about their tests, if they have any, talk about any known exposures, mm -hmm. and receive direction from their employer on what to do next, whether that be come in today or, you know, we're actually going to have you stay at home today uh, so that we can keep the right amount of people coming in, socially distanced, masked, et cetera, to get people back in a way that is as safe as possible uh, during this, you know, 12 to 18-month period before a vaccine is out. Yeah, which is terribly important for the employer. But the other thing, as I understand it, it gives information to the employee. As we all think about going back, how do we know what the situation is in that workplace or in the area where that workplace is? As I understand it, that provides some of that to me as an employee as well. Exactly. We're taking into account the local uh, level of disease in that particular right. area. We're taking into account what's happening right. with that office. We're even taking right. into account what right. on, at the employee level right what's going on yeah. with your fellow employees.